Hi, hello, namaskar. I hope you guys are doing good. Today we are making this uh, dish called bajru, and this is one of the famous dish that you get in uh, Mangalore. The ingredients that we are looking at is poppy seeds, urad dal, gram dal, uh, black pepper, fenugreek, and uh, fennel, and dried chili. Along with that, we'll also add coconut. So create in the jaggery. So take a pot and heat up some ghee. Take about a spoon, or maybe well over a spoon. So this is the masala, like I said, that we're making. And uh, you know, once the oil is hot or the ghee is hot, add in mustard seeds. Let it pop. So then we'll add in the ingredients that I had showed. All these five will go in. Make sure that uh, it's not over fried. So add in some, yeah, just a half a teaspoon. Poppy seeds, uh, you know, you can add in more if you want, uh, but we've just added about uh, half a teaspoon. Now comes the color. So this is badgi chili that we've taken. Fry it up again. Take another pot. Add in. Coconut and uh, grated uh, jaggery. So what you have to see here is uh, one: the jaggery should melt and uh, you know, properly mix with the coconut. Usually they use dry coconut, but since we don't have it, we have uh, used the regular one. But uh, dry coconut will add more taste to it. So once this is done, we'll switch it off. Ilachi is another flavoring add agent. Uh, you can go about adding one, two or three, and uh, use it while you're grinding the paste. So this is how the this is how both of it bind together. You're using half a teaspoon or about three fourths of coriander powder. Usually they use, uh, you know, unpowdered or uh, raw, but we are using powdered one. So the coconut and jaggery mix is done. Uh, now we got to add this one along with the, uh, you know, the chili masala that we had done. So we got to grind it well now. So we have added the coconut. Now let's add the masala. Once the masala is in. Add in the ilaichi and give it a good mix without water. So it should be like a fine paste. So we got to grind it again. Put a fine paste of the masala here. Take a pot. Add in like a half a teaspoon because you know already for the masala we have added about a, a spoon of ghee. So this is just going to be as a binding agent. Between the masala and the uh, avlaki, so go about adding the masala to it. Keep it in simmer always, so it'll not get fried, over fried in fact. Just do a taste check. Add in some salt, and um, it's almost ready. You just have to add the avlaki. So we'll start adding the avlaki now. We we'll take smaller portions, mix it up, and then go about adding another portion. So we added few more. Let's 
Mix it well. And this masala again, like I said, uh, if you have um, if you have excess, you can store it in fridge, and um, you know you can do it again at a later stage. And this would stay for uh, I don't know roughly a week or so. And if you have the craving for doing it again, you can do it again, you know, within a week. This is almost ready. We'll just uh, you know keep mixing it for another. 30-40 seconds and once the ground nuts are done we will go about adding it see after a good mix this is ready the only thing that is pending is adding ground nuts not not uh, you know this much a small portion of it will go into bajilu and uh, it is ready to be served you can go about adding these skinned peanuts this is ready to be served. You can have this with uh, curd, or you can just have it if you don't have curd. Also, you can just have it like that. Thanks for watching the video. Do subscribe, like, and share.